Hey Babbitt! Hey Babbitt! Welcome to our thrifting marathon! <laughs> going to start in Seattle, but Beppy has this whole list of thrift stores to go and try. I've only ever been to like two here, and I think that the ones in Seattle are probably really good. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go to like every single thrift store that we can in the next like six hours. It's gonna be fabulous. We're all gonna right. rate them all too, so <laughs> you guys can know too. We are parked and ready to go to our first location. We found free parking, which is fabulous. We did. Like, okay, so <laughs> it doesn't open until noon. It doesn't open until noon. <laughs> but we're gonna come back. It's fine. We're gonna come back. We are gonna come back. Hopefully. Okay, we are at our first we location. We made it and Finally. it's open. And it's open. It took us a while to park, <laughs> but we made it. So we didn't get to vlog inside of that one we at all. We didn't. But, but we, we got, got them okay. I got yeah. three things and we got like five? Yeah, I think so. We're back at the first one that was closed. Yeah, because it's open now. It's open now. Yeah. But we are looking through the records. We yeah. found some clothes. All yes, good, but we can't show you any yet because we're gonna do a haul. <laughs> Whew. Okay, we were pretty successful there. Yes, so Benny got a ton of like records and shirts. I got one dad joke t-shirt for like a dollar of a steal. Definitely worth it though. Um, now we're gonna go to the outlet, which, which I'm so excited about. I've never been to an outlet. It's like something I really wanted the to do. The Goodwill outlet. Yeah, the Goodwill. Hi guys. We are at the Goodwill outlet. I'm gonna bag this. Um, <laughs> we both got like good like, eight things probably oh i think i got more than eight i don't even know what i got but it was like oh each of our totals was only ten dollars definitely it's fun a steal. we were in here for like a good 30 minutes more. we could have found more but, but we kind we of were, just got tired yeah <laughs> we were on a fuel break we got coffee and sandwiches Food. hello Dina. hello <laughs> the men's. okay so just to keep you guys updated um, Zina and I finished and we also went to like this like we went to some in U Village Which was really fun and they, we found like a vintage shop there. It was fabulous I'm washing all of the clothes right now before I even try them on so I will give you guys like a haul later It was a successful day for sure. I can't wait to show you guys the things Okay so here's the deal. It's like uh, like three weeks later. I wasn't actually home when we did the trip. I was house sitting, so I got home and like was like wearing some of the things. So then some of them were in the wash. It just felt like it'd be like a huge amount of effort to film this portion, but I knew I was gonna get to it eventually. So here we are. Basically, we rated each store. I will give you guys the haul from each store, and then I will give it a rating. Alrighty. So I'm going to start with uh, the Goodwill in U District. Um, the first thing I got was this DuckTales t-shirt. I actually already have a DuckTales shirt, which is kind of funny. I've never seen the show, but I think it's super cute. The second thing I got are these corduroy pants. They're purple, which is super fun, and they're really cute. They fit me pretty well. They are a little bit low-waisted, but if I'm wearing like a big sweater, that's not a huge deal. Um, and then the other thing I got at this one was a Patagonia t-shirt. It's super cute. It has like Patagonia on the front and then it has like a picture on the back and it was like a really oversized shirt. So that one was really cute as well. It's just in the wash right now. And I think that store we gave a six out of 10. It was pretty small. I don't know. We just felt like there wasn't a lot of things to look through. It was probably because, you know, it's in the U district. Like I bet a lot of UW students shop there. So like all of the good stuff was gone, but I still managed to find some pretty good things. So six out of 10 for that one. The second store I will talk about is the lifelong thrift store. This was the one that we went to and then was closed and then we came back to it later. I got this one. Um, I just thought it was funny. It says family that prays together stays together. And it's like a family of bears eating a human. I don't know, don't judge me. I think it's hilarious. This plain champion tee, it was like made with tags and I was like, oh, that would be cute to like crop it, you know? <laughs> this one says like rainy day fun and it's like family tattooing and this just really fit because my family during quarantine, like we all gave each other sticking posts. So I just felt like I needed that one. I also got a, I also got a Converse sweatshirt. It was just this really cute sweatshirt 
and it's like Converse brand. But okay, the other thing that we really liked about this store was that it wasn't just a clothing thrift store. They had a whole downstairs section with like furniture and records. So I ended up getting a few records because I have a record player. So I got like Elton John, a few Neil Diamond, and then like a couple like random, like, I don't even know, I haven't listened to these yet. But, like a few random like Disney story ones and like Winnie the Pooh. So I thought that was super cute. So we gave this store a seven out of 10. Clothing wise, it wasn't great, but we were also just like really happy about the fact that they had um, like records and things on the underneath it was like it was just a cool store you know fun to be in okay um the next store i will talk about is the, the goodwill south lake union <laughs> okay to be completely honest with you guys some of these things i think i've mixed up like i don't think it's entirely accurate where i got what but i think the most important thing is like the store rating because we actually gave those like right after we were in the store so i think i got more than these two things but i don't remember <laughs> Anyways, um, I got this like sweater vest. It's really big and oversized, which we love. And then I got this, which I felt like would maybe be like a fun little like statement piece. It's this jacket. It's kind of like horribly ugly, but it's kind of fun. You know, maybe I'll find a purpose for it someday. The Goodwill South Lake Union, we gave a seven out of 10. It was our first store. They had like a few good things, good options, but it wasn't like, we weren't like amazed, you know? So probably the place that I got the most items from was the Goodwill outlet in Seattle. I had never been to a Goodwill outlet before, but I've always wanted to, and it was pretty fun. It was really busy when we went, so we didn't stay a really long time. And I also feel like I want to go sometime and just like go for like all day because we had so many places to get to that it just didn't really make sense for us to stay there a long time. I still find quite a lot of things and all of these things I'm about to show you, it was $10 total, which was the least I spent anywhere and the most things that I got. Start off, I got this denim jacket. It's like white, but it has these like, or tan I guess, but it has these like cute little blue details. I got this sweatshirt crew neck thing. It has like airplanes on it. I just thought it was kind of cute. Cute little crew neck. And then this has like fuzz all over it. I did wash everything by the way, but this is just like a red sweater. Then this one, I think it may have shrank. I don't know, we'll see when I try it on, but just this little like brown sweater. It's really soft. I really like this t-shirt. It's huge, but it's super cute. And then I got these jeans. They don't fit me super well. But like they fit me well enough. I'm getting some of those like button thingies on Amazon. So I think that will help. But they're also just a little bit short on me. And the Goodwill Seattle outlet, we gave an 8 out of 10 because um, we definitely felt like we really like got a lot of things for how much money we paid. Like it was a really great deal. And it's also just kind of fun to like dig through this stuff. But my favorite store we went to it's actually not a thrift store and we didn't even have it on our list to go and look at but when we went to u district to their goodwill we saw this other store right next to it and we we found out it's like a vintage store so they have purely vintage things and i think there was another one too that we didn't even go to because my sister said they have two vintage stores on in u village so i don't know how we missed it but this store was so cool and there were so many things in it and i'm definitely going back there it was the most expensive but you know, that's kind of part of it when they're a lot more filtered with their items. It's just going to cost a lot more. I think it's called Red Light Vintage. I'm pretty sure. Um, and it's, it's just right in New District next to their Goodwill. So the first thing I got is this Donald Duck sweater. It actually has a few stains on it, which is like really sad because I just didn't even notice that when I was picking it up. But I still think it's really cute. And I got these fabulous... Um, corduroy pants if you follow me on instagram you already saw these i just feel like they are just like they're like michael jackson pants or something like they're just so cool they were so long when i got them too like i had to cut off like six inches of them and i'm tall so that's like saying a lot and the last thing i got was this vintage fila jacket it's super super cute like the detailing it's just so cute I'm really excited to wear that at some point so yeah overall it was a super successful day we only got through half 
of our list of Seattle thrift stores. So we'll probably be making a part two. I'm going to try to complete my whole list of all of the nearby cities and their thrift stores. I still felt like this was a super successful day and it was just a lot of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back next time for more videos. I love you all. Bye.